What's going on, YouTube? I got the uh, Cash App card. If you remember a video about a week ago, I was saying that I was going to uh, do a follow-up on that, let you know how it works. And uh, over the weekend so far, so good. I've ran into a problem already. It was actually the first purchase that I made with the card. I went to a car wash trying to get the salt off the vehicle. Snow, you know what it's been like. Uh, anyway, the car wash was like $12 for the ultimate version of it. Swiped the card, went through, shows up on the cash app immediately. It shows up as a purchase of $10. So I didn't know what that was about. Went ahead and went along with it. And um, it wasn't until like a day afterwards that it came up on the app showing that the payment was declined. And it refunded me the $10 that previously went from the purchase of the uh, car wash. So I, I looked in the app and it said that the reason why it was declined was because uh, of a improper pen. I didn't have to put a pen number in for the uh, purchase, so I didn't know what that was about. But it wasn't until a day after that then it went through as the $12 purchase that it was originally supposed to be. So I have no idea if that was something on Cash App side or if that was something from the car wash, but anyway, it was kind of weird. Plus side though is that the booster works. I think I mentioned in the first video that I got the Chick-fil-A booster which was 10% off any purchase made with the card through Chick-fil-A. And uh, that was cool. It was immediate, what, I think I bought like $15 worth of food and it was an immediate like $1.50 off. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, you can also switch out which booster you're using on the fly. So you could do the Whole Foods discount, uh, dollar off any coffee shop, uh, there was a couple other nice ones. Taco Bell, I'll probably use that. But um, yeah, there were a couple of nice boosters that you could swap out to. The one thing I don't like though, is that when you're using the app, it is very, very hard to figure out where you have to go on the app in order to even look at what booster you have or what boosters are available. It is not straightforward. When you open the app, you don't see any type of notice like that. You have to actually click on the uh, the balance and then you click on the balance again, and then you'll see like the underneath the history, you'll see maybe a little icon, like the Chick-fil-A icon or whatever booster you're using. You'll see that icon and that's how you switch out the booster. I had to look online in order to figure it out. It was nothing straightforward. So they really need to put that more on the forefront of the app. Just kind of the options of what you have to do. It's, it's a very, very simple app. So if you're trying to send money or receive money, yeah, it's easy. But if you're trying to do anything else, it's very, very confusing to figure it out for the first try. Maybe I'm used to the PayPal app, but we'll see what happens in the future. I really like the fact that unlike PayPal, you have a card tied directly to the money that you have on hand. So you can use it as a debit card. You don't have to worry about immediately switching something to, to the bank if, you know, someone sends you something. So um, if I'm talking funny, it's because I have some gum in my mouth and I'm not getting rid of it. It's still tasty. But um, yeah, that's, that's that. I wanted to go ahead and give you that update tonight and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.